This video is on File Transfer Protocol. File Transfer Protocol FTP is an application layer protocol that moves files between local and remote file systems. It provides for the uploading and downloading of files from remote hosts running FTP server software. It enables you to view the contents of the folders on an FTP server and rename and delete files and directories. That is if you have the necessary permissions. FTP runs on top of TCP, like HTTP. To transfer a file, two TCP connections are used by FTP in parallel, control and data connections. By default, FTP operates on ports 20 and 21 for sending control information like user identification password commands to change the remote directory, commands to retrieve and store files. FTP makes use of control connection. The control connection is initiated on port number 21. For sending the actual file itself, FTP uses data connection. Data connection is initiated on port number 20. FTP sends the control information out of band as it uses separate control connection. Some protocols send their request and response header lines and the data in the same TCP connection. For this reason, they're set to send their control information in band. HTTP and SMTP are such examples. When an FTP session is started between a client and a server, the client initiates a control TCP connection with the server side. The client sends control information over this. When the server receives this, it initiates a data connection to the client side. Only one file can be sent over one data connection, but the control connection remains active throughout the user session. FTP is a fast protocol used for file sharing, but there is a file size limit. Also, multiple receivers are not supported. Main drawback, however, is the security. Attacks you can use are anonymous authentication, directory traversal attack, cross-site scripting, malware attacks, and much more. FTP is considered insecure in today's environment. Secure FTP, secure shell should be used in its place in almost every scenario. You need to disable FTP and use FTPS or SFTP and use strong encryption and hashing and place it behind a gateway. Also, you need to harden your FTPS server by implementing good account management, using strong password, implementing file and folder security, and black and whitelisting IP addresses.